South of South Florida, Whiskey for Oscar Tango. Hey everyone, Eric here with Ham Radio Concepts. I am KJ4YZI. This Hi, I'm Rick, N4, WRW. We are at Field Day, and one thing that I want to do, and that's John. Say hello to John. Hi. That's KO for MCK. So, anyways, uh, we are going to use my 9700. I brought that to Field Day. And we're going to use this for a satellite contact. Rick has an antenna. What do you have, Rick? I have the Aero Duplexer antenna for UHF and VHF. It works quite well. It's a handheld device, and we'll point it as, at the satellite as it travels across the Okay. And Rick has, well, he had it printed out here somewhere. We'll show you the, the frequencies we have uh, for this satellite. It's AO85. Yes, we're going to try to get the AO85 that passes at about 617 here on the east coast of the U.S. Uh, at our QTH here in Vero Beach. And I'll show you where we're going to have this set up and where the pass is going to be. And we're going to be using the, I'll have my, just my portable bio -Ino battery here. Everything on battery power out at the beach side on the pool. And I have the radio already set up in here in the AC to make sure I didn't run into any issues before I'm going to get out there. So it's ready to rock and roll. All we need to do is set it up and uh, wait for the pass. Right, we got to get our stuff and satellites on its way. Hurry to let the AC get out. Antenna. Here we go. Whoops. Heading out this way. All right, so. We're out here on the bocce ball court. Rick is going to be at the helm of the antenna. And the satellite, if you look that way, the satellite is going to be coming from over the condos, right about where those antennas and flag is. And it's going to come from the southwest up towards the northeast, somewhere that way at 50 degrees elevation. So it's probably going to be about, I don't know, maybe like that. So that the pass is pretty much going to be like this not going to be direct overhead, but that should be fine. And uh, we have the 9700 set up. I'm ready to go. We're just waiting about 10 minutes. See the signal? What? Yeah, but I don't hear anything. Something's wrong. I see it right here. I really hate you. This guy is full of them. I'm like, man, this thing's booming up on the wrong yeah, camera. Did you get that on video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so wasn't a big success at the moment. The radio's a success. The thing sounds spectacular, but they're, they're trying to hit me with this thing. Um, but I heard myself come back through the satellite one time. But there are others out there. Guys, if you're going to be using satellites, do not slam 150, 200 watts into this thing. The signal was so wide and so loud, nobody else could get through. So uh, I heard myself come through once, but it's a busy day on satellites with field day. I'm gonna try again at what, 9? 9.30ish or something. I'm trying again at 9.30 myself, and I'm gonna get it done. Uh, or I fall asleep, but it was a good attempt. We will try it again. We are trying attempt number two at a satellite pass. You have Rick N4WRW at the helm with the aero antenna. And uh, the, fir the first one we tried was AO85, and I actually heard myself only one time on the downlink. There was a lot of people on that and probably more power than needed. John, KM4MCK, has taken a nap. There's a nice lighted pool here. I will be swimming in that later for sure. This is how you spend field day with a nice open pool. And right behind me is the ocean. So anyways, satellite SO50. We are going to... Uh, this thing is going to be about 50 degrees elevation as well, which is going to put it somewhere about up here. 
and it's going to be coming from this way the northwest to the southwest like this uh, hopefully we get a contact on this thing we need the little well, bonus points and i really want to use this 9700 on satellite now sounds really good on satellite it just so happens that rick is not a good pointer i'm kidding he did an amazing job yes and by the way ladies and gentlemen oh here it, here it he comes he fessed up at dinner time that he in fact while throwing me under the bus that i'm a <laughs> terrible pointer <laughs> Did not have the RF gang turned up. When he figured that out, voila, they were all the satellite signals. <laughs> so what happens is on this 9700, I, it does it to me every time. The knobs here, you know, you go 12 o'clock here, then anywhere this way is turning the RF gain down, and then this way is squelch. I panicked and thought, oh, whoa, the squelch, the RF, uh, squelch is too high. So I went like this. What happened is I turned the RF gain all the way down, so we lost about five minutes of the pass. Yes, that's my fault. Thank you, Rick, for... Oh, no. Telling everybody. Hello, Dwayne. Hi. What, what there's, there's my buddy on CW. This is the greatest CW guy ever. Yes. Are you going to be uh, locked in the trailer doing all night again? All nighter, yeah. I'm going to. I purposely come here to do an all nighter with Dwayne. That's, all right. <laughs> that, that is the coolest part. So, uh, Dwayne is uh, uh -huh. awesome at CW. But a little, a little secret I make a contact on field day, but he's got to decode it for me. I send it and then. I can't receive it or decode it, so <laughs> Dwayne does that for me. But anyways, uh, yeah, Dwayne, we're gonna try a satellite pass here in uh, moments, and let's see what happens. Whiskey four, Oscar Tango. Whiskey four, Oscar Tango. W4OT calling CQ Field Day. CQ Field Day. Whiskey four, Oscar Tango. There you Negative again, again. CQ Field Day, Whiskey 4, Oscar Tango, W4OT. One Alpha South Florida. I have one Alpha South Florida, one Alpha South Florida, again. Like this big, right? Yeah. 